Hi, welcome to this week's newsletter. I'm Gail Stone. I just had an amazing weekend in New Boston, Illinois, and I'd like to thank Linda and Larry Oberman and Shelly Adams, owner of Beulah's Bar and Grill, for having me for the weekend. While I was there, I got to go four-wheeling for the first time. I tended bar, I cooked in their kitchen, I rocked the karaoke at the grand opening. It was an amazing time. If you'd like to check out Beulah's Bar and Grill, they're at 402 Main Street in New Boston, Illinois, or you could call 309 587-3020. You can also follow them on their Facebook page, Beulah's Bar and Grill. And if you need that information again, it's down here at the bottom of the screen. While I was in New Boston, we went to Lock and Dam 14, and there was open water there, and we got the opportunity to see bald eagles. It was my first time seeing them, and they were flying around, and it was really cool. And the next day, while we were four-wheeling, we found a clearing in the trees next to the river, and we got to see the eagles even closer, which was better, because I had a hard time seeing them the day before. And on the way home, we rode along the Mississippi River on the Iowa side, and we stopped when we saw eagles sitting in a tree. It was amazing. They were right in the tree above me. You could see them clear as day. It was phenomenal. And while I'm talking about eagles, an eagle survey the first week of January recorded 186 bald eagles along the Wisconsin River from Patton Well to the Mississippi River. And that is great news for this weekend's 25th anniversary of the eagle watching days at Sauk City and Prairie du Sac. This event includes a live birds of prey show featuring hawks, eagles, owls and falcons, the rehabilitation release of an eagle, and children's events and tours to observe the eagles throughout the day Saturday and Sunday. A complete schedule of events is available on the Fairy Bluff Eagle Council website. What's going down in my hometown? In Crystal Lake, it's the Anglers Ice Fishing Derby from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. at Crystal Lake West Beach. They're going to have hourly prizes for the longest fish of each species, a kids fishing derby from 10 a.m. to noon, men and women's six cents ice auger contest at 2 p.m. There's free parking and shuttle service. Bait is available at the West Beach House. They're going to have a winter raffle at 3.15, but you don't need to be present to win. The measurements are going to be at the West Beach House, and the last measurement will be taken at 3.05 p.m. And P.S. If it didn't happen today, it's going down on February 12th. Wow! This winter has been a little crazy. The weather has been far warmer than what we're used to, and this is causing some problems with ice fishing. In Iowa, trout stocking planned for Ada Hayden and Lake Potoka will happen before February 1st, but the date's not going to be announced because they want to prevent crowds from gathering on ice that is so far not recommended for ice fishing. Previous stockings have drawn large crowds, which could be dangerous given the current ice conditions. Trout stockings have been postponed at other locations across Iowa as well due to poor ice conditions, including the Council Bluffs area where the stocking at West Big Lake has been delayed until March. Stick around, we'll be right back after a word from our sponsor. Hi, I'm Gail Stone from the Outdoors to the Kitchen and I'm at Eccles McHenry Flea Market located on Route 120 in Elm Street. Hours are Saturdays and Sundays, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. They've got 85 vendors here. If you're looking for that hard to find object or collectible, look no further. If you need it, you'll find it at Eccles McHenry Flea Market. Welcome back. Coming up in March, From the Outdoors to the Kitchen is going to be heading to Dubuque, Iowa for the 11th Annual Whitetail Classic Sports Show and Antler Auction, sponsored by Circle M Auctions. I have seen the list of vendors that are going to be there, and believe me, you do not want to miss this event. It's going to be happening on Saturday, March 17th at the Grand River Center, located at 500 Bell Street in Dubuque, Iowa. The doors open at 8 a.m. and the auction starts at 10 a.m. There is going to be a huge selection of taxidermy, guns, vintage and contemporary sporting goods, Old West and Native American collectibles, antique Americana, rustic decor, and my personal favorite, furs. For more information, go to circlemauctions.com and I hope to see you there. You know it's never too early to start preparing for summer fishing. Saturday, March 10th, Five Oars Trolling Academy will be having a Great Lakes Preseason Trolling Seminar. The seminar hours are at 8 a.m. and 3 p.m. You'll need to register early because there is limited seating at this event. It's only $50 per person, but you get a discount if you bring two or more, so bring your friends out and save some money on the cost of your admission. 
It's going to be held at Cabela's Outfitters, and that's located at 7700 Cabela Drive in Hammond, Indiana. It's going to be in conference rooms one and two. Admission does include a complimentary tackle raffle, and lunch will be available. You want to do something new and exciting with your kids this spring? Why not try turkey hunting? The IDNR will offer expanded youth hunting opportunities through the 2012 spring turkey season through the new federally funded Illinois Recreational Access Program, or IRAP. Interested turkey hunters should download an application for an IRAP youth turkey hunting permit through the IDNR website. The special hunt area online permit applications will be accepted January 17th through February 20th. Residents and non-residents permits may be applied for the 2012 Illinois Spring Wild Turkey Season permits online. The link can be found on the IDNR website. Hey, guess what? In a couple weeks, I am going to Lake Geneva, Wisconsin to go ice fishing for the very first time. I am thoroughly excited to do this. I can't wait to get there and check out the town, learn how to ice fish, and everything else that town has to offer. It's going to make a great show. In the meantime, you can follow us on Facebook at From the Outdoors to the Kitchen with Gail Stone. You can also follow us on Twitter, and it's Outdoors to Kitchen. This has been fun. You're the best of the most. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.